Hey, thanks for dropping by to the Planners on Purpose podcast, created by Naomi Tucker, CMP. Now, this space is for the event planners to encourage and empower you so that you can fully live your life on purpose. So before we dig in, please take a moment to subscribe so you get future shows. Now, here she comes, your host, Naomi. There's a lot of great intention and effort that has been put out regarding event professionals' mental health. In this podcast, I wanted to shed some light on what mental health is, how mental health can impact our event industry, and what you can do in order to prioritize, maintain your mental health as an event professional. For those that are new to me, my name is Naomi Tucker, and I'm a business strategist and coach here at Planners on Purpose. I'm here to help empower event professionals to live and lead your life on purpose and to recognize the role that burnout may have in your life. I am here to help you become more impactful and more intentional leader in the industry. Now, many of you may already know the role that mental health has on our well-being is very important to me. I specifically am very passionate about the role that burnout and stress and overwhelm can take on an event professional, much less any other professional or person. We live in a world where our work is the center of who we are, and we have to fight in order to maintain a sense of balance with everything else that we're juggling. So I thought it would be very timely here on this Sunday to talk a little bit about mental health, period. And as we talk about it, I encourage you to make notes to yourself on what comes up and how you can prioritize your mental health as you go into this next work week and into this next season. So first, let's talk about what is mental health. Now, there are several definitions about mental health out there, but the one that resonated more for me and that I think is a really great all-encompassing definition of mental health is one by way of the World Health Organization, which is that mental health is a state of mental well-being that enables people to cope with the stresses of life, realize their abilities, learn well and work well, and contribute to their community. It is an integral component of health and well-being that underpins our individual and collective abilities to make decisions, build relationships, and shape the world we live in. Mental health is a basic human right, and it is crucial to personal commodity and social economic development. Now, I'll go on to also talk about another definition that the Center for Disease Control and Prevention states. They also state that mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects how we think, we feel, we act. It also determines how we handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. Mental health is important at every stage of life, from childhood, adolescence, through adulthood. Now, some of the key areas to call out when it comes to your mental health as it relates to these statements are that mental health enables people to cope with the stresses of life. I think that that is so important that we are in a particular area of our lives and in work that we are able to cope with the stresses. If we are not able to cope with the stresses, then that infringes on our mental health. Also, I like that this states that it helps us to realize our abilities. And I would even state that realize our potential. It helps us to learn and work well when we do have great mental health. And it helps us to better contribute to our communities. Now, an area of focus in all of these is really coping with the stresses of life. It's just one area that on the Planners on Purpose podcast, I like to center on. If you're really If you aren't able to manage the stresses in your life when it comes to the event industry, it could be really hard to maintain your mental health. Now, there is a guide out there with Cvent and Skift, aka the Event Manager blog. It's called Work-Life Balance for Event Professionals. It has lots of really great information. For those that want more information on this subject, I would encourage you to pick that up and read it. It mentions particularly what's known as an invisible load and talks about how this invisible pressure is what we feel just to keep our lives turning in in general. And 
typically this is whether you're going to the store to buy groceries, if you're booking doctor appointments and cleaning our homes, which we talked about in the last podcast, it's those everyday tasks that we need to do to keep our life functioning. And when we work more than 50% of our waking hours, it doesn't leave much time for us to do much of anything else. And the pressure for keeping it all together can be very heavy. You might be asking, so what are the common struggles with mental health that are happening right now in the event industry? Besides the ones that I've just mentioned, there are some other common struggles that event professionals face, and we'll also get into how we can prevent them. Now, I want to refer to an article that PCMA mentioned. It was about the wellness for the event professional. There are a couple of stats here that are very important. They say that one out of three planners and three out of every 10 suppliers, they say they're anxious or they're burned out. That's really sad. It continues to be a struggle in our industry. How does it come about? Now, I love this article because it talks about what people are saying that contributes to this anxiety and this burnout. A majority of people are saying that they feel like their energy is depleted or exhausted. Over 80% said that they feel like their energy is depleted and they feel that they're exhausted. 62% say that they have been mentally distancing themselves from the job. And what that means is they no longer can take their their job in the capacity in which the job is asking them to be engaged. They literally have to mentally disengage themselves so that they are able to cope with their stresses. This article goes on to say that 78% of planners say that they're starting to feel negative about their jobs. Now, once you get into a point where you're feeling negative about your job, that also leads to disengagement and it can lead to burnout and eventually just pulling out of the industry overall. And that's definitely what we want to make sure we maintain. We have a lot of great people that contribute to this industry and to have them leave really leaves a hole that we have to fill. So we want to make sure that we are encouraging and enabling mental health. A big contributor to work-life balance is long hours of travel, long hours at work. And also when you have long hours of travel, long hours at work, it makes it hard to establish any boundaries. Lately, being short-staffed and having to do more with less is the culprit. And on top of these already existing areas, we're struggling with economic challenges, maybe the threat of war, and some already living and operating in a war economy. So these are very big things that the event industry continues to struggle with. So now let's move on to how we can prioritize our work-life balance. First, I just want to say that your organization is a resource for you. Look into your organization, talk to your HR professionals and see if there are any programs or offerings that are going to help enable your mental health in the workplace. There are so many resources that are out there and it's nice to know what they are so that you have them nearby. Many organizations are starting to incorporate different programs that allows you to speak with a therapist or even speak with a coach so that you are able to get yourself through this season of overwhelm and stress. Additionally, you might want to consider enforcing boundaries in your workspace. We talk about this a lot at Planners on Purpose is putting on boundaries in your workspace and in your life. Get awareness of where you can give and where you need to set up a boundary. And it's better for you to learn and enforce these boundaries within your organization and other areas of life because they can easily creep on your mental health. And before you know it, you are swimming in stress, you're swimming in overwhelm, and you're feeling like you're unable to make the changes that you need to make in order to make your life better. Also, another thing that you can do to prioritize your mental health is to take some time to refine your plan over and over and over again. I can't stress on this enough that it's important that you change up your boundaries and how you operate based on the seasons that you're going through in your life. 
one season you might be working very hard in your work the other season you might be struggling with something at home and it's important for you to always be evaluating and always be reinforcing those boundaries with people in your life so that you are able to cope with all of the stressors that you perhaps have at planners on purpose we do a challenge called the banish burnout challenge and i run it a couple times a year it's a great challenge it allows you to be able to become aware of the stressors that may be encroaching on you and it also helps you to be able to design a burnout prevention plan that you can take and help lead your life on purpose and continue to have you prevent yourself from getting into that burnout and that stress i'll make sure to leave that resource in the description for you. My signature program is also centered around helping you reduce stress and enforce your boundaries and helping you walk through your life and get a hold of your mental health and giving you the encouragement so that you can go from burnout to bliss. And I help you with that and come alongside of you with that throughout my program. If you're interested in that, definitely reach out to me. I will be so happy to help you. I have some other great resources for you in the description. If you're suffering from mental health challenges and would like to speak to a professional about them, I really encourage you to do so. There are so many free resources out there that can make all the difference for you in your life when you take the first step of reaching out. I hope that this has helped you, has given you some insights on how you can prioritize your health better and that you have been able to take away something that can help you as you head into this new week. That's all for today. Until next time, stay on purpose. Well, that wraps it up for this episode. If you enjoyed the conversation, hit the like button and tell us how much you enjoyed the show by leaving a message in the comments. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.